أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Our discussion tonight in our series on learning to read the Holy Quran is going to take a little bit of a turn towards the recitation in prayers. Of course, part of what we recite in the prayers is from the Holy Quran, but part of it is certain uh, remembrances of Allah, dhikr. Uh, sometimes we recite dua during the prayers and so on. So we're going to go over those parts of the prayers. We most frequently recite the wajib parts and some of the musahab parts, some of the all of the obligatory parts and some of the recommended parts. And we're going to look at how they're written, how they're spelled out. And we're going to read them to correct our pronunciation so that we are saying them properly in the prayers. The first part that we recite during the prayers actually reciting out loud is the takbiratul ihram of course the first part of the prayer you know we have certain wajibat of the prayer we have to first perform the niyyah the intention we make the intention that we're going to pray which prayer we're performing whether it's wajib or mustahab and we say qurbatan ila allah this is our niyyah then we have qiyam that we have to be standing and then we have takbiratul ihram this is the takbir that begins our prayer. When once we say this takbir, then the prayer starts and we basically can't do anything else. Doing certain other things will break our prayer and we would have to start over. So takbir means to say Allahu Akbar. So when we start the prayer, we say Allahu Akbar. And this is how it's spelled out. We have the name of Allah. And of course, this alif in the name of Allah is Hamza al wasil So we pronounce it. Since it's the first letter we're pronouncing, we say, Allahu. And the mad in the name of Allah is pronounced heavy. It's pronounced full. Allahu. And then we have, Akbaru. And we learned in one of our previous lessons that when we stop on a letter, the short vowel that it has gets pronounced like a sakin. That's why instead of akbaru, we say akbar. So let's read it again. Allahu akbar. Now, sometimes when we pronounce this, we forget to say this alif clearly. So instead of the alif, if we don't say the alif clearly, we might end up saying a wow in its place. So we say, Allahu Akbar. You see, I said Akbar instead of Akbar. So we have to make sure to pronounce this alif very clearly and sharp. Akbar. Allahu Akbar. So that we can say the takbir properly. Next, it is mustahab that before we recite Surah Al Fatiha and the first ragat that we say, this sentence here and this is we'll read from the beginning a'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajim this is we're saying that i seek refuge with allah from shaitan the accursed one so a couple points about this when we say this first word we should realize that this is three syllables. Many times when we recite this, we don't pronounce three syllables. We say it as two. We say audo. We say audo. But this is not audo. It's a audo. A audo. Billahi minash shaytan. And here we should make sure that we make a difference between ta and ta. This is not shaitan. This is not shaitanir rajim. This is ta. Shaitanir rajim. So one more time. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim. And then after the takbir in the first sakat while standing, we recite Surah Al-Fatiha, which we went over before, but we will read it once for emphasis and for practice. So let's recite it from the beginning and we'll try to use the arrow as a guide as best as we can. 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين اياك نعبد واياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين Next we have here surah al-ikhlas or surah qul huwa allahu ahad as it's also called and we've also gone over this before now in the prayers in the first and second rak'at of the prayer after surah al-fatiha we can recite any complete surah with the exception of those surahs that contain an obligatory sajda. And usually we recite a short surah like this one, and this is the one that we will usually recite in all of our prayers. And it's very good to include either in the first rakat or in the second rakat this surah at all times. So let's say in the first rakat we recite surah al-Fatiha and some another surah. And then in the second rakat would recite Al-Fatiha and Surah Qul Huwallahu Ahad. It's very good to recite this at least in one of the rakats in all our prayers. So let's read this again for practice. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Qul Huwallahu Ahad. Allahu Samad. Lam Yalid wa Lam Yulad. وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُفُوًا أَحَدٍ Then we go into Ruku' and there is a dhikr that we recite in Ruku' and then another dhikr that we recite while we are in sajda with our heads on the ground. So while we are in Ruku' and Ruku' means of course to have our hands on our knees and bowing with our backs parallel to the ground we say this first sentence. This first sentence is the obligatory wajib part. We say, Subhana Rabbi Yal Azime. Let's start again. Subhana Rabbi Yal Azime wa bihamdih. One more time. Subhana Rabbi Yal Azime wa bihamdih. And then, it is mustahab, it's recommended, it's extra credit that we recite the salawat. We just read the second sentence while we are still in ruku'. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. So this is the dhikr for ruku'. And then it's mustahab to say the salawat after the dhikr for ruku'. Then when we stand up from ruku' and before we go into sajda, it is recommended to say this sentence while we're still standing. We say, Samiallahu liman hamidah. Again, Samiallahu liman hamidah. And then we go into such that we go down and put our foreheads on the ground on something which it is permissible to put our foreheads on. So, just like the dhikr in. Ruku' this first sentence here is wajib and the second sentence the salawat is mustahab. So this first sentence let's read it. Subhana Rabbi al a'la wa bihamdih. We have to make sure that when we pronounce this we pronounce this ayn clearly the alif and then the ayn. A'a. Not just a'a al-a'la or a'la. We have to say a'la. Let's read it again. Subhana Rabbi al-a'la wa bihamdih. And then the salawat. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. The salawat is recommended. Then when we sit up, after the sajda, you know, we do two sajda and every rakat. We do one sajda, then we sit up. Before we go back down for the second sajda, it's recommended to say this sentence. While we're sitting, we say, Astaghfirullaha Rabbi wa atubu ilayh. One more time. 
astaghfirullaha rabbi wa atubu ilayh and then we go down for the second sajda then we get up from the second sajda and then it is recommended that while we are standing up as we're getting up in the process of standing we recite this sentence this dhikr while we're moving upwards we say bihawlillahi wa quwwatihi aqumu wa aq'ud one more time bihawlillahi wa quwwatihi aqumu wa aq'ud now we start up for the second rakat and then we recite surah al-fatiha and then we recite surah al-ikhlas or another surah and then sometimes usually in the second rakat it's a uh, uh, common with people that will recite al-fatiha and surah qul huwa allahu ahad and then you might have heard them recite this sentence now it is mustahab it is recommended that in prayers after we recite surah qul huwa allahu ahad that we recite this sentence surah qul huwa allahu ahad is a very special surah of the holy quran so when we recite it, there is also something recommended. Allah gives extra special reward for reciting this sentence, and we'll read it through. كَذَلِكَ اللَّهُ رَبِّي Let's read it again. كَذَلِكَ اللَّهُ رَبِّي And this means such is Allah, my Lord, that what we said in Surah قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ we testify after reading it, this this is how Allah is. This is how Allah should be described. This is how Allah should be understood, meaning what was said in Surah Qul Huwa Allahu Ahad. So then after we recite this, then in the second rakat, after Al-Fatiha and after the other Surah, then it is recommended for us to recite Qunut. We raise our hands to Allah and we recite a dua. And this dua is very famously recited. You can recite any dua, but this dua is from Surah Al-Baqarah, it's from the Qur'an. It's in Surah Al-Baqarah, the second Surah of the Holy Qur'an. And you probably recited it hundreds of times yourself or heard it recited many times. Now let's see how it's actually spelled out so we can recite it with correct pronunciation. So let's read through. Rabbana atina fid dunya hasanah. وفي الآخرة حسنة وقناع ذاب النار. Now, this is all actually one ayah. It's not three separate sentences. We can read it all as one sentence. <coughs> In this way, we say: ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة now, if we're reading it as one full sentence, we have to make sure that this ta marbuta here connects with this wow that has shad. We say, And again here we say, But we can also break it down as three phrases. And if we do, then we have to say here, we have to pronounce this ta marbuta as a letter ha. We say, Hasanah, and here also we see Hasanah. So let's read it through again with uh, breaking it apart. Rabbana atina fid dunya Hasanah, wa fil akhirati Hasanah, wa qina adab al nar. And now let's read it through as one sentence. Rabbana atina fid dunya hasanata wa fil akhirati hasanata wa qina adab al nar. So then we recite our qunut, we perform our ruku', we go perform our two sujood, and then in the second rakat, after that we perform two sajda, we sit up and we recite what's called the tashahud. The tashahud is three sentences, and of course we don't have it written here, but it's mustahab to first say, Alhamdulillah. Or there are, there's another longer sentence we can say, but we'll cover that in another session. But the tashahud itself are these three sentences that we'll read now. 
ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika lah and then the second sentence wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh and the third sentence of the tashahud is the salawat that we've already practiced Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. Now please remember that reading the salawat in the ruku' and sajda is mustahab, it's recommended. Even if you don't recite it, your prayer is still correct. But in the tashahud, it's wajib. You must recite the salawat. If we don't recite the salawat, then our prayer will be invalid. So we have to recite the salawat in tashahud. Let's read it through one more time. The first sentence first. Ashhadu Allah. Now it's very important here. Just to note that we have to pronounce this alif clearly. Ashhadu Allah, and not to just wave through it and only recite the vowel like this. Ashhadu wal Ashhadu Allah. In that case, what happens is I'm basically putting a wow in place of the alif. I'm saying ashhadu walla, which is incorrect. So we should pronounce this alif clearly. And the same also in the second sentence. When I say wa ashhadu, I shouldn't say wa shhadu. We should pronounce this alif clearly. This is not Hamza al wasl here. <clears throat> so let's start from the beginning again. Ashhadu alla ilaha illallahu wahdahu la sharika lah. And this ha and wahdahu is the, the hard ha. We have to make sure we pronounce that clearly. And not wahdahu, but wahdahu la sharika lah. And at the end here, when we say lah, we have to make sure we actually pronounce that ha sound, not just la. It's not la sharika lah. I have to pronounce that ha at the end. And the second sentence, wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. I have to make sure that the ha in the name of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, this ha is pronounced properly, not Muhammadan, Muhammadan. And here, this should be a abduhu, not abduhu. With the alif or hamza, it should be with a ayn, abduhu wa rasuluh. And now our third sentence, the salawat again. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ali Muhammad. Then after we pronounce the tashahud, if it's the dhuhr or asr or maghrib or isha prayers, then we have more than two rakat. So we stand up for the third rakat. Now, in the third and fourth rakat, just like in the first and second, it is wajib for us to recite Surah Al-Fatiha. But in the third and fourth rakat, we only have to recite Surah Al-Fatiha. We don't have to recite a second Surah. But it is mustahab, it is recommended to replace Surah Al-Fatiha with this sentence, with this dhikr. And you can say it one time or three times. One time is wajib, three times is mustahab. So let's read this dhikr. Subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wallahu akbar Let's read it again Subhanallah walhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wallahu akbar And let's read it a third time since it's mustahab to recite it three times in the prayer. And we have to make sure we pronounce the haz clearly here. Subhanallah walhamdulillahi wa la ilaha illallahu wallahu akbar. Now, so we recite this in the third and fourth rakat in place of Surah Al-Fatiha. And in the third and fourth rakat, we do the ruku' in each rakat and the two saja in each rakat. Now, in the last rakat of the prayer, after we do the two sajda, we stay sitting, we recite the tashahud, which we already went over. And if it's the last rakat of the prayer, then after the tashahud, 
we're going to recite what's called the salam of the prayers. And in the salam, we have these three sentences. The last sentence, the third one, is the part that is actually wajib, obligatory. But it's mustahab, it's better to say all three of these sentences. So let's read through all three of them, inshallah. So here's the first one. As-salamu alayka ayyuhan nabiyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now the second sentence. As-salamu alayna wa ala ibadillahi salihin. And our third sentence, the one that's wajib. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now let's read through this one more time. As-salamu alayka ayyuhan nabiyu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. As-salamu alayna wa ala ibadillahi as-salikheen. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And then after we recite the salam of the prayers, it's mustahab to say the takbir three times. Takbir meaning, of course, saying Allahu Akbar. So that's what we say. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar at the end of the prayers. So once you recite this salam, the prayer is finished. But then it's mustahab to say those three, the tak takbir three times. And then it's very recommended, it's mustahab to recite this verse of the Quran. So usually when we recite the prayer in congregation in jama'at, then you'll hear someone from the congregation recite this verse of the Qur'an. And this is in Surah Al-Ahzab, the 33rd Surah of the Holy Qur'an. And then after it, the people, everyone will say salawat three times. So let's read through this holy verse. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Now let's read a little quicker one more time. Inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. And that is the end of our lesson for tonight.